Tell me about your party. Am I welcome? Yes, you already know I have to be a little late. Okay, still, it's not too late. It's not too late. He thinks he's not guilty. I think he's not guilty. We're going to fight this case with everything we have until we can't. In the middle of Diddy's ongoing problems, a new link has been found that is said to be shaking up the entertainment business. This is, in fact, the famous TV host Ellen DeGeneres. Explosive Reports says that DeGeneres' relationship with Sean Diddy Combs has been looked at more closely since his claimed list came out, which caused a lot of anger and consequences. What does Ellen have to do with this? What tweet does she have that goes with Diddy's problems? New information has made us wonder more than it has answered. Ellen DeGeneres and Diddy's friendship is getting a lot of attention. A mysterious part of the elite world has always been there. There are always controversies and rumors about the dark side of Hollywood's elite. That part also comes with the terrible effects of nonstop scandal. Ellen DeGeneres and Sean Diddy Combs are two of the most powerful people in Hollywood. They have long-lasting connections and a lot of power in the entertainment business, and they've been seen together more than once. Because Diddy is in trouble with the law, people are paying more attention to his close friendship with Ellen DeGeneres. They have been friends in public for years. There have been several times when Diddy has been on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Their jokes and banter were once seen as fun times between two big stars. There is a lot of talk in the entertainment business about the deaths of Stephen Twitch Boss and Anne Hesch, as well as the music mogul's recent court problems. Long-running theories about a possible link to talk show host Ellen DeGeneres have been brought up again by these events. Publicly, DeGeneres and Diddy have been friendly for years, with Diddy making several visits on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Tell me about your party. Am I welcome? Yes, you can be sure she'll invite everyone. However, since Diddy was arrested on charges of misconduct and crime, their relationship is being looked at more closely than ever. There is a bigger problem in Hollywood that the reports about DeGeneres, Diddy, Twitch, and Hesh show. Powerful people might be able to silence people who try to report crime. On her own show, Ellen DeGeneres was accused of making the workplace dangerous. Diddy has been accused of misconduct for a long time, and the friendship between Ellen DeGeneres and Diddy has led to some speculation. Twitch, a popular hip-hop dancer, killed himself, but there are rumors that Diddy may have something to do with it. Twitch was said to have had dark, damaging proof about both claims, which said that Twitch was asked or maybe even forced to be a victim of a crime. There is no evidence to back the online theories, but the fact that they keep coming up is a stark reminder of how people are always interested in the lives of celebrities and how Hollywood is always looking for hidden truths. Among all the chaos, the internet's ever watchful eyes have learned yet another secret. What's this secret? What does it tell us about the link between Diddy and Ellen DeGeneres? Let's look into that. Resurfaced Ellen tweet. The tweet was sent by Ellen DeGeneres in November 2016, and now many people are saying that it doesn't look good after Diddy's arrest. The tweet is about the singer Sean Diddy Combs and wishes him a happy birthday. This tweet has come up again, gaining news because Sean Diddy Combs was arrested. The tweet starts off pleasantly, wishing the rapper a happy birthday and calling him by different names, such as P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, and Sean Combs. But the second part of the tweet made people look twice. To show love, DeGeneres called Diddy Cuddle McSnuggle stuff and said, you don't need to know why the vague reply has led to more questions and speculation. Many people are curious about their connection after seeing this tweet that was sent almost 10 years ago. The overly familiar tone of Ellen DeGeneres' tweet made a lot of people feel uncomfortable on social media. A lot of people who answered agreed that the tweet did not hold up well over time. Someone else said in a mocking way that it sure has aged well. At the same time, a third person retweeted the post and asked the TV host for more information and DeGeneres to explain what she meant by the message. The responses showed how people's ideas about DeGeneres' interactions with have changed, especially after recent events. While that one was still as hot as a volcano, another one came back to the surface. In an old episode of The Ellen DeGeneres Show, Ellen DeGeneres begged Diddy to come to one of her parties. Ellen DeGeneres made fun of Diddy for being late to the show during the interview. She asked him if he would act the same way at the party she was throwing soon. She asked Combs if he could get to her party early. Combs said he wasn't going to, citing the need to be late in a stylish way. He was told not to be too late by DeGeneres. Diddy then asked DeGeneres what time she wanted to arrive, but she chose to keep it a secret. She told him how important it was to get there on time and joked that the party wouldn't really start until he got there. DeGeneres and Diddy's friendly banter was shown off in this playful exchange. Fans have added to the wonder of their relationship by commenting on the old video clip where they talk about Diddy's partying, which is a key part of the federal case against him. Not much good has been said about Diddy either, especially since an old video of him came out at the worst possible time. What did they say in this talk? What does it have to do with Diddy? Keep listening to find out. 
And talk with Diddy himself is another thing that doesn't look good after Diddy was arrested. The musician went on Late Night with Conan O'Brien in 2002, and the show asked him how he would plan a party. Since Diddy was just arrested and charged with trafficking, the answers he gave don't hold up well. Diddy's 2002 interview on Late Night with Conan O'Brien has been talked about again on social media, and many people are upset about what he said. D.I. asked Conan O'Brien what he would need to throw a party. Then Diddy told everyone at the party what they needed, starting with a lot of water and different kinds of drink. Conan O'Brien spoke up and asked if this was for watering plants. He then said that women like to drink water at parties and might leave if it's not available. He then joked that it was important to keep them there and even suggested putting locks on the doors. People in the crowd laughed at this comment, though .no1 is happy about it now it sounded like Diddy might have been forcing people to do what he said. The music mogul said that his plan might be a bit expensive. But he told O'Brien to go all the way. He also said that the place had to be physically hot and not have air conditioning. D.I. Added, heat changes the alcohol and you know everyone gets a little more comfortable and loose. Which makes you sweat a little saying that Combs's party plan sounds gross. In response, Diddy said that point of view is important. The musician also said that his parties would probably get a lot of attention. He said that because they were so wild. They might even get shut down and he might even be arrested. Diddy made it clear that all he wanted to do was have fun and not worry about what might happen. More questions are raised about the power of celebrities and how they use you after this conversation. Fans of music are now demanding to see the list of people they think are linked to Diddy's alleged trafficking. The music mogul has been coming to the UK a lot for the past 30 years and is now being closely watched. Fans now want to know what other famous people might be linked to or even involved with the mogul now that he is being looked into. Several well-known artists are said to be worried that Diddy's case could lead to more problems. Diddy has been seen partying with famous people like Usher and James LeBron. Some of his famous friends, like singers and actors, are said to be very worried that their names might be brought up. If the case goes forward. Diddy is said to have partied with a lot of famous people over the years. They loved going to his fancy parties all over the world with him. So who does Diddy want to talk to? Does Ellen DeGeneres happen to be here too? Let's find out. What Diddy's list is about people who were connected to Diddy are getting more attention again since he was arrested and a probe is still going on. Especially popular people who went to his famous white parties and people who were named in lawsuits and accusations, even though not many of them have been charged with a crime. Insiders in the music business knew all about Sean Diddy Combs' famous freak-off parties. His well-known white parties had long lists of guests. A lot of information has been written about these yearly events, which have produced many pictures of a list celebrities partying with the media mogul. There is no proof that these parties are connected to any wild, unrestrained parties. But dancers who worked at these events and people who used to go have said how crazy the nights could get, with women not wearing clothes and people using illegal drugs, making them sound a lot like the claimed freak-offs. In interviews and public performances in the past, a number of famous people have said they spent wild nights with the founder of Bad Boy Records. Ellen DeGeneres has said in public that she has been to parties with Diddy more than once. Now, a dancer who worked at one of these parties is naming people she says she saw with Diddy. Adria Sherry English talked about her experiences with the Daily Mail and in a civil case, where she accused Diddy of inappropriate behavior and other things. Aside from Ellen DeGeneres, other well-known names have come up. Because they are friends and both make a lot of money in the music business, Jay Zizi has been to many of Diddy's events, like the famous White Party. So is Beyonce, who is married to Jay Z and a superstar in her own right. Rich people from the A list came to Diddy's fancy parties, and some famous people became regulars. Leonardo DiCaprio was also a regular at these parties and could often be seen mixing with other wealthy people. Ashton Kutcher went even further by co hosting charity events like the White Party in 2009 to fight malaria. Reality TV stars The Kardashians also showed up. On Keeping Up With The Kardashians, Khloe Kardashian said that Diddy's parties were known for having a lot of wild energy. Other famous people who went were Mariah Carey and Paris Hilton, who talked about how fancy the event was. Usher once said that crazy things happened when he was with the rapper. Diddy's fancy parties have been a part of Hollywood's top social scene for a long time, and not just famous people go. This list of about 200 people includes royalty, famous people, and important people. Prince Harry has gone to a lot of high-profile events with music and entertainment stars, including ones held by Diddy. Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie of York have also met Diddy's close friends at private events in London and New York. Princess Charlotte Kazaragi of Monaco, who is Grace Kelly's granddaughter, often goes to fancy events and fashion shows, which sometimes happen at the same time as Diddy's parties. 
While Prince Albert I, I of Monaco hasn't been seen at Diddy's events directly, he has been seen hanging out with famous people at the Monaco Grand Prix, where Diddy has held events. Sheikh Amosa Bent Nasser is a famous royal from Qatar, who has been to foreign events with Diddy and other famous people. Princess Madeline of Sweden has met people from Diddy's world, especially at high society parties, and has socialized with them. Crown Prince Pavlos of Greece and his wife Marie Chantal have met famous people and important people from other countries who go to Diddy's parties. A British nobleman has been to a lot of private events for celebrities, including some of Diddy's famous parties. Countess Louane de Lesseps has been to high society parties with Diddy's friends and family. She is famous for being on The Real Housewives of New York City. Princess Furiel of Jordan has been to events with Diddy and other famous people. She gives children educational materials about charity and social work. Lady Kitty Spencer is a niece of Princess Diana and has been to chic and high-class events, some of which Diddy has hosted or visited. These people, who include royalty, celebrities, and influential people, show how broad and high-profile Diddy's social network is. There are also well-known leaders on this list. That being said, who are the leaders on the list? How well-known are they? Let's look into that. People in politics on Diddy's list Diddy is a well-known businessman and artist, so his influence goes beyond the music business. In politics, where he has made connections with powerful people, his impact is felt all over. There have been rumors that these famous people have been to Diddy's freak off at some time. Diddy backed Barack Obama's 2008 presidential campaign from the start and spoke out in favor of it. People got to know each other through this partnership at a number of political and cultural events. You may have seen Michelle Obama and Diddy at similar events where he showed his support for the Obama family. Bill Clinton and Diddy got to know each other by going to charity events together, especially ones that raised money for HIV AIDS v AIDS research and programs for urban kids. Vice President Kamala Harris and Diddy have met at events that focus on getting people to vote and getting involved in politics. During her race for vice president, Diddy said in public that getting people to vote was important. In line with Harris's platform, Eric Adams, the mayor of New York City, shares Diddy's goal of giving local communities more power through education, economic chance, and justice reform. Diddy has talked with Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez at events about social justice. We were also sick of cynical politics that didn't seem to care about how hard people worked. Similar pay for similar work and voting. Diddy and Cynthia Nixon, who ran for governor of New York in 2018, are both into social justice and equality. Nixon has also been in the same political and social groups as Diddy. People are wondering about these leaders' ties to Diddy because of their ties to him. What kinds of crimes does Diddy face? What does it mean for him? Watch to find out more. There are problems in Diddy's life. A big problem is building up around the famous rapper and music mogul. Since November 2023, many people have come forward with shocking claims of wrongdoing. Putting Diddy's image and legacy in doubt. Diddy's ex-girlfriend Cassie started all the trouble when she filed a shocking case against him saying that he had abused her physically and emotionally. These claims were quickly rejected by Diddy's lawyer. He thinks he's not guilty. I think he's not guilty. We're going to fight this case with everything we have until we can't, putting them down as false and outrageous lies. The case was quickly settled after it was filed. But this was just the start. More accusations came out from different people, showing Diddy's pattern of wrongdoing and controlling behavior. In an interview in 2004, Kamora Lee Simmons said that Diddy had threatened to hit her while she was pregnant. Joy Dickerson Neal said Diddy forced her to use drugs and she said he abused her in 1991. The list grew when Jane Doe, a person who did not want to be named, said Diddy trafficked her when she was only 17 years old in 2008. The case of Rodney Lilrot Jones is a little different. Diddy's song Off the Grid is up for a Grammy. Jones is listed as one of the people who supposedly saw Diddy doing illegal things. The scandal surrounding Sean Diddy Combs keeps getting worse, with more women speaking out about their experiences. New accusations against Diddy and people close to him have put more light on the extent of their wrongdoing. Grace O'Marquet, a woman who worked on a boat that Diddy rented, has said that Diddy's youngest son Christian King Combs did something wrong. O'Marquet also says that Diddy helped and supported what his son did. This new information makes people wonder how Diddy may have allowed or hidden wrongdoing in his inner group. Crystal McKinney has also come forward and said that Diddy made her do things she didn't want to do in 2003. There have been other claims by women that Diddy has acted inappropriately in similar ways. McKinney's bravery in telling her story adds to the growing story of how Diddy is said to have mistreated people in the past. Another disturbing development is that Adria English has made a criminal complaint saying that Diddy raped her from 2004 to 2009. Yesterday, big news came out the FBI revealed that Sean Combs, better known as Diddy, got away from prison moments ago. There are now a lot of questions about how he managed to get away from the police and what this means for his ongoing court problems. Is Diddy going to be caught soon? For the people who have come forward against him, what does this mean? 
The only federal jail in New York City is the Metropolitan Detention Center, which is also known as MDC Brooklyn. Since it opened in the early 1990s, the facility has had many problems that have made people worry about how the prisoners are being treated. In the past few years, the jail has had such bad conditions that some judges have decided not to send people there. Showing that the facility's surroundings is getting worse. People with famous names have also been locked up in MDC Brooklyn, such as cryptocurrency fraudster Sam Bankman Fried and singers R. Kelly and Ghislaine Maxwell. It was R. Kelly, Elaine Maxwell, and crypto scammer Sam Bankman Fried who came before him. Lack of staff is one of the main problems at MDC Brooklyn. The Bureau of Prisons has admitted that it is hard to keep enough staff on hand, which has a direct effect on the quality of care and safety in the facility. The Bureau said in a statement that they are working hard to solve these hiring problems. In order to make sure that the prisoners get the help and care they need, they plan to hire regular medical and correctional staff. They are also working on the problem of over 700 unfinished repair requests, which could help make the jail better. As well, the agency is trying to address the concerns that judges have made about the facility's treatment and conditions. Even with all of these attempts, the facility has still caused a lot of debate. A recent case involving Sean Combs brought to light problems that keep happening at MDC Brooklyn. Combs lawyers asked that he be allowed to wait for his trial while being under house arrest at his $48 million Miami Beach, Florida home. But the judge turned down the request because the charges against him were so serious and there were too many risks to let him go. So we asked Judge Carter to set bail. Things did not go our way. The fight goes on. The main job of MDC Brooklyn is to hold people who have been arrested and are waiting to be tried in federal courts in Manhattan or Brooklyn. The jail also houses people who are serving short terms after being found guilty. Around 1,200 prisoners can be held at the building. This number has gone down from more than 1,600 earlier in the year. This drop may be because of ongoing problems with managing and caring for prisoners. The MDC Brooklyn is in an industrial area on the waterfront in Brooklyn and has open recreation areas. There is a dentist suite and a medical unit with exam rooms. A separate wing is set aside for educational events, and there is a library there so that prisoners can get educational materials. Even though the facility has these nice features, reports of overcrowding, poor medical care, and bad living conditions have hurt its image. The Bureau of Prisons shut down the old Metropolitan Correctional Center in Manhattan in 2021. Still more proof that MDC Brooklyn is the only government building in the country's biggest city. Since MDC Brooklyn is now the only place for federal prisoners in New York City, the conditions there are being looked at with even more care. The Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn is famous for having terrible living conditions and a lot of crime. As the Bureau of Prisons continues to work to make things better, many people hope that the changes will make the prisons safer and more decent places for the people who are locked up there. The way things are at MDC Brooklyn makes Diddy's life in jail look bad, but the real worry is that he will get hurt. Diddy's lawyers say that because he is famous, other prisoners could easily use him as a target for bad behavior or to get money from them. They are even more worried about his health because they think he might be attacked or hurt while he waits for his trial. The living arrangements at MDC Brooklyn make these safety worries even worse. Multiple reports say that the facility is severely overcrowded, not clean, and lacking in basic needs. A lot of the time, prisoners don't have easy access to water, exercise, or even medical care. People have said that the food given in the facility is not edible, which makes the surroundings feel neglected and deprived as a whole. Many lawsuits and public outcries have been filed because of how bad the conditions are. Some judges will not even send prisoners to MDC because of how bad it is. These problems have been brought up by Diddy's lawyers as they try to get him released on bail. The cushion on your bed is only 1.5 inches thick, and there is no pillow. You also have a locker. You have a simple 15 square feet. That is a terrible, terrible place. They said that the conditions at MDC are not good for someone who is waiting for their trial and put his safety and health at great risk. Even though they tried to bring these issues to people's attention, Diddy is still in jail, where he is often locked in his cell for up to 23 hours a day and is constantly watched. His lawyers say that the dangerous environment at MDC and the fact that he doesn't have enough protection make it very hard for him to prepare his case properly. The Federal Bureau, Bureau of Prisons has said that they are trying to make things better at MDC Brooklyn, which has a lot of problems. To clear up the backlog of maintenance requests and hire more permanent medical and prison workers, they have worked hard. They also want to address the worries that judges have had about the conditions of the facility. However, these attempts have not yet led to real improvements. All inmates, even famous ones like Diddy, are seriously at risk for their safety and well-being because of the problems that keep happening at MDC. There is a lot of danger and bad living conditions where Diddy lives, so the worry about his safety is real. 
The worries that his lawyers raised show how seriously many people are worried about how prisoners are treated in these kinds of centers. And since he is still an MDC, the ongoing talks about making things better should lead to safer places for everyone. In another effort to get Diddy out on bail, the judge said that he should stay in jail because he has a history of violent behavior and might scare witnesses. There are a lot of worries about Diddy's safety at MDC. You may be wondering what problems famous prisoners like him have in such tough places. How about if their fame makes things even worse? Stay tuned to learn about the lives of other famous people who have had similar situations. Sean Diddy Combs is one of many famous people who are being held at the Metropolitan Detention Center MDC in Brooklyn, New York. Inmates who have made headlines in the past include R. Kelly, Ghislaine Maxwell, and Sam Bankman Freed. Their appearance at MDC has gotten a lot of media and public attention, which has made things even more complicated for them. He was at MDC while he was waiting to be tried on major misconduct charges. He was in a lot of legal fights and got a lot of bad press while he was at the center. R. The New York court hearing Kelly's appeal to overturn a 30-year racketeering term is today. Because of all the attention, it became clear how hard it can be for famous prisoners to keep their privacy and safety. Kelly's lawyers raised a number of worries about his health and the general conditions at MDC. Kelly is one of many prisoners who have said that the center is harsh and doesn't forgive. They say that this kind of setting is very dangerous for their mental and physical health. The notorious Jeffrey Epstein was friends with Ghislaine Maxwell, who used to be a celebrity and spent time in the MDC. She was jailed while she waited to be tried on major charges of misconduct and conspiracy. The issue with Maxwell made people pay more attention to what was going on inside the MDC. Her lawyers said that she was treated inhumanely and was constantly being watched, which made her feel worse. The initial punishment came after he was found guilty on five counts of soliciting four girls under the age of 18 over a 10-year period. Because of the serious accusations against her and the fact that she was famous, she was the focus of the media and could be a danger in jail. Sam Bankman Freed, a well-known person in the cryptocurrency world, is another famous prisoner at MDC right now. He is being held on theft and other financial charges, which has caught the attention of both the financial world and regular people. Bankman Freed's case shows how hard it is for famous prisoners to follow the rules of the justice system and deal with the stress that comes with being famous. The fact that such well-known people are at MDC shows the unique problems they face in the jail system. Because they are famous, people may try to hurt them. I don't think I did, and I don't think I tried to lie anywhere here. Not only from other prisoners, but sometimes even from jail staff. The current situation makes it necessary for them to be extra careful. The fact that their case has got a lot of attention from the media can also make things more difficult in court, since how the public sees a case often plays a big role in high-profile trials. People pay a lot of attention to high-profile prisoners like Sean Diddy Combs. From the news and from inside the jail walls. What about the hard parts of daily life at MDC, though? How do these problems get worse when people's safety and well-being are always at risk? Let's look at what it's really like to live in fear. Things at Metropolitan Detention Center have gotten even scarier over the past few years. In 2020, a man named Jamel Floyd died after being sprayed with pepper spray by prison guards. From the spice pepper brought up serious issues about how prisoners are being treated. After only one month, Edwin Cordero, another prisoner, died in a fight. Cordero's lawyer showed his anger by calling MDC Brooklyn a hellish federal jail that is overcrowded, understaffed, and not taken care of. This really gives a clear picture of a place where people don't feel safe and have to live in horrible conditions. Ashley, Cordero's widow, added her voice to the voice of worry by telling what she knew about the jail. She told him the prison is disgusting. There are rats running around and everything. No one should live there. Her words show how bad the environment is and imply that the prison doesn't provide basic safety and human respect. From her point of view, the MDC is a place where fear and hopelessness grow, which makes it hard for prisoners to feel safe. Another famous prisoner, Sean Diddy Combs, got some advice from her. She told him not to trust anyone. This sentence says a lot about the culture of mistrust that exists in these kinds of organizations. Diddy may have to spend the rest of his life in jail, so he needs to know how prisons work. May cause big problems and put people in danger, showing how bad things really are for many people in these places. At MDC Brooklyn, people live in fear all the time. But could Diddy's experience be even worse because of his fame? What risks might his legal problems and fame pose while he's in jail? What serious charges have been brought against Diddy? Find out how these charges might affect his time in jail. Recent accusations against Diddy have made people very worried about his future. A lot of experts think that the crimes he is accused of may put him in danger while he is in jail. Sources say that other prisoners often go after criminals like Diddy. 
There are troubling claims in the 14-page unsealed indictment that Diddy acted inappropriately and rudely toward women and other people around him. He is accused of a pattern of persistent and widespread misconduct toward women and other people, according to the indictment. And Source said that she finally feels like she can end a painful part of her life and is finding comfort in how things are going. Even though more and more accusations have been made against Diddy, he has pleaded not guilty to all of them. He keeps saying he is innocent and denying all the charges against him. Sean Combs' representative said in a statement that he is still strong, healthy, and focused. We're not close. The fight goes on. We're not giving up by a long shot. A spokesperson for Diddy said that he is fully committed to his case and that his family and legal team will always be there for him. They said that neither criminal nor civil claims against him have been proven in court yet, which is very important, reminding everyone that he is innocent until proven guilty. Concerns have also been raised by Diddy's lawyers about how the media is reporting on his life. That person said that Diddy will not be distracted by what they call the never-ending stream of conspiracy theories or sensationalized accounts of his life. They stood up for the image of the famous parties he threw by saying that important people in the entertainment business wanted to go to them. The statement says that any efforts to change the truth about those events are lies from people who aren't invited or who are trying to make themselves look important. It is impossible to deny that Diddy is feeling a sense of anxiety as the court case goes on. The media and the public's attention on these serious accusations could have long-lasting effects on him, especially given the nature of the charges. Totally gross. In the event that he is found guilty, the punishments could be harsh, and he might face even more dangers in jail. The charges against him are a reflection of bigger problems in the entertainment business with power, wrongdoing, and accountability. Let's look at a post on X, formerly Twitter, that has been going popular and making waves online. There is a report in the post that hip-hop mogul Sean Diddy Combs once called Bill Gates his hero. Yes, you did hear that right. Like Tyson and Bill Gates. But what does this news really mean? The X post that went global and Diddy's hero. So, what did the post that went popular really say? It said that Diddy, whose stage name was P. Back in 2003, when Diddy was celebrating a big moment in his music business, he told Bill Gates how much he admired him. The post went viral very quickly. At the last count, it had more than 73,000 views. This claim says that Diddy was impressed by Gates' skills to make Microsoft, built his business from the ground up, and I like the fact that Gates didn't get rich right away. This post made it look like Diddy saw himself in the same way as someone who worked hard to build his own business. It didn't take long for people to doubt the truth of this story, though, especially since this quote hadn't been picked up by any big news outlets before. This is where things get interesting. The post talks about a story now and wrote in 2003 that used Reuters as its source. The story is said to have come out after Diddy signed a multi-million dollar deal with Universal Music Group to distribute his record label, Bad Boy Records. It is said that Diddy named Gates as one of his heroes at the press event for this deal, along with big names like Ali and Jordan. He liked how smart Gates was about business, mostly how Gates made Microsoft a huge tech company. He even said that Gates was like other people he admired for how hard they worked and how dedicated they were. But there's a catch. Even though the post went popular, there isn't much evidence to support what it said. Nawin is a tech news site, and while they said the original quote came from Reuters, no one has been able to find the full transcript or video from this claimed press event in 2003. In fact, Reuters' own old files don't show any stories that match. And this has made some people wonder if the whole thing isn't true or if it was misunderstood. Diddy might have liked Bill Gates, which isn't completely impossible. These two men have made a name for themselves as self-made millionaires or, in the case of Gates, billionaires. They are both very successful in their areas. Diddy has said many times in talks over the years that he looks up to people who started from nothing and made it big, and Gates is a great example of that. Diddy has said that people who inspire him are business leaders, athletes, and even fashion stars. There is some proof that Diddy admired Gates, but the exact quote from 2003 has not been proven. That was true. In a 2012 interview with CNBC for their I Am American Business series, Diddy did say that Gates was one of the greats. Even though the viral post might not have shown the exact time when Diddy called Gates his hero, it's still possible that Diddy admired Gates' achievements.